hi guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to learn how can you how we can build dynamic endpoints using path and query parameters the right way or as from the previous video we have already built a simple fast api we have already built the first fast api this is a sample fast api which just returns hello world as a json format so today we're going to learn how we can build dynamic urls and dynamic endpoints and we're going to learn how to use path parameters in those all right so let's begin so this is a sample fast api we have built that day so now we're going to build another url here url endpoint here which will include dynamic endpoints so let's begin so first of all i'm going to name a root something like app.get and then i can name something like maybe something like items slash and then if i, if I want to add a dynamic field here then i can pass that inside the curly braces so i'm going to use curly braces and then i'm going to pass something like item id or some any other dynamic field you want to add all right so now i can define the root for the, this so i'm going to de uh, define the root something like the function uh, the function root something like define item read item and in this i'm going to pass i'm going to pass the dynamic variable which i had used in the url so this is going to be item id and what i can also pass is the type of variable that it is going to be so it is going to be an integer so i can pass the int type here perfect and now we can simply define our root so we're going to we can return the item so for the returning the item i'll just return it for now as item id and then i can return the actual item id here all right so what does this format do is in fast api it is actually dependent on the parameter type the url is dependent on the parameter type. so if if i in uh accidentally enter a string inside the item id it is going to throw me an error 422, 422 error which will declare that the type of parameter is not matching to the type of parameter required so this actually allows for comparing the types of variables and which eventually makes the fast api a lot faster than other python web frameworks all right so now and also one more thing if you pass it even as a uh, string of numbers for example if you pass something like a string of seven or eight it is going to convert to integer itself so it will handle that procedure itself so that is another great feature of fast api all right perfect so now that we have used item id as a dynamic variable now we can modify the root to add query parameter as well so for the query parameter i'm going to add it here after the item id parameter here so that is going to be q and that's going to be string something like that so that's going to work before that i would like to show you how does this actually work with the item id parameter so for that we'll just run this application for running this application you can run uvicorn main app and the reload command as well so i'm going to teach this directory all right i'm going to teach out to this url slash and then i'm going to go for items and then i'm going to write in a number all right guys so i just forgot to add a slash preceding slash in front of the url endpoint so i'm just, I'm just going to add that and it should work perfectly fine now all right all right so now if i reload my item slash one it should return me item id as one perfect and now if i pass a string something like hello then it should give me an error yeah perfect so it gives me an error that is type in parsing so it does not it could not parse the input variable the hello variable so it has given us an error for that all right perfect so now we'll move forward to the next part which is actually using a query parameter inside this url endpoint so for using query parameter in this we're going to use well, we're going to put another parameter inside this and that is going to be q which is going to be a string and this initial uh, the default value for this can be none so even if we do not pass this query parameter inside uh, the url it is not going to affect that all right and now for the returning dictionary we can add along with item id the query we passed through this so i'm going to write query and then that's going to be q all right so this is how you can add query parameter inside your fast api now let's test if how it works if i go 
here and then I click on hello. If I click on three, all right, so add a query parameter using a query parameter inside the URL, you can write a question mark here and then write in the query for your URL info. It's going to be Q equals to something like a sample query. I'm just going to write query here and this should return us the values item ID is three and query equals to query. Perfect. So that's how you can use query parameters inside your fast API. That's great. Now, moving forward, we can also embed the optional typed query inside these so how to embed that at uh, them is we're going to use a optional type query here so suppose i have a I have another root here which is something like app dot items or maybe i'll just name it to products and for this i'm going to define the function as uh, something like list products and then here i can define my variables with a default value for example i'm going to use skip that's going to be int equals to zero so the default value for skip is going to be zero and then i can also define some other variable which can be limit and for that this i can have the default value of 10 perfect and now returning these values we'll see how does this function for the fast api all right so for this i'm going to run first of all the product so all right just a little problem i just uh, forgot to add the app.get and now we'll run this again all right so as you can see we have got the default values for skip and limit which were 0 and 10 and now if i want to change any of the parameters i can change that using question mark skip equals to nine so this should return the value of skip as nine and the limit as the default value of 10. and now if i want to change the value of limit as well i can use an and operator here and then write, write in the value of limit as well which is equals to something like one and this should return us the values of skip as nine and limit as one so that's how you can use optional queries inside a parameter of the url endpoint for fast api all right guys so we have learned more basics of fast api and in further videos we'll even deep dive into more advanced concepts for fast api so this is for this video and thanks for watching